All right, folks. So here's the first update. It's only one hour and seven minutes since we started the test, and I didn't expect this to be so soon. I know that it uh, it will be very fast, but I didn't expect this to happen in in an hour. Check this out: the high carbon steel, the ten five ten ten fifty five. Look at the rust spots on that. Let me see, maybe put this underneath it so you, you see it better. Look at the amount of rust already in under an hour. In an hour. See that that's 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 quite a lot. So That's pretty bad. I didn't expect that. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna try to wipe it. Of course, I'm not a keep. I'm not gonna keep it in there no more, cause I I don't want to ruin the blade. It's kind of since it's that's this is the good thing that since it's sitting in the water, the rust is creating, but it's uh, it's not gonna stick too much. It will be pretty pretty easy to get rid of it and clean it up. Let's see. to buffer this one it did get in pretty deep that's interesting that is very interesting I'm gonna have to run run over with the with the sand with the sandpaper fix it up a little bit oh I'm glad I didn't try this with some of my my uh, more expensive High carbon steels. This is the one I made myself, so not a big deal. But still, very surprised. I didn't expect it to be this bad in the rust resistance. That's some major, major stains there. Major stains. Let me see if I can get a better light. I cannot get it probably any better than this. Uh, no, that's the first update. So stay tuned, guys, and uh, this guy is out. The 1055 high carbon high carbon is out, and uh, let's keep going. I'll see you in a few.